Hi friends, welcome to Perfect Online Classes of Class 10. Today we are going to learn first chapter linear equation into variable of mathematic paper first. All of us or many of us travel by bus, bus take half ticket for child and full ticket for adult. Shubha and Farangi are those friends. In Farangi and Shubha's family, there are seven family members. Ticket conduct by conductor from Farangi's family is RS 1100 rupees. There are four adults and three child in Farangi's family. And in Shubha's family, three adults and four child. Ticket conduct by conductor from Shubha's family is 1000 rupees. Then imagine that in your family there are three family members, two adult and one child. What amount of ticket pay by you? Anything? Then we see another example. Like the cost of bunch containing two pens and three pencils is RS35. And the cost of bunch containing two pens, three pens and two pencils is RS40. Then what is the cost of such one pen? or such one pencil who will tell me to find out the answer of that kind of question we learn linear equation into variable here linear equations we see in my standard linear equation the word line is represent that means the graph of equation is a straight line this is called a linear equation in other way we can state the linear equation in those equations the degree of variable is one such equation is called linear equations we combine all together and set the definition of a linear equation into variable in those equations there are two variables in those equations there are two variables and degree of each variable is one such equations are called as a linear equation into variable you may remind it, I repeat, in those equations, there are two variables and the degree of each variable is one. Such equation is called as a linear equation into variables. Now, every living thing or non-living thing is the best structure. That one example, human being. Human is also best structure to legs, to hand, to eyes, one head, one nose, to ear. This is the basic structure of human. But all humans are different in a such a way. Linear equation into variable is also basic structure and the basic structure is called as general form or the standard form. Here we see the standard form or general form of the linear equation into variables. The basic structure it is also called general form general form it is also called standard form or standard form and the standard form is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 this is the standard form of a linear equation in two variable here x and y are variables they are variables and a comma b and c are real numbers they are not variable they are real numbers this is the basic structure or a general form and the condition is that a not equal to 0 and b not equal to 0 when we substitute a equal to 0 then we get 0x plus by plus c equal to 0 when we multiply any term by 0 then we get 0 that's why the remaining part is by plus c and this is a linear equation in one variable that's why a not equal to 0 and b not equal to 0 when we substitute 0 as the place of b we get and 0 multiplied to any term we get 0 therefore we also get 
linear equation in one variable that's why the condition is that a not equal to 0 and b not equal to 0 from the definition of a linear equation into variable and general form or standard form of a linear equation into variable we may identify which equations are linear equation into variable or not let us see some examples you may say to me which are the linear equations in two variables first example 3x plus 4y plus 5 equal to 0 the definition says that in those equations there are two variables from the definition we understand there are two variables and the degree of each variable is 1 therefore we can say the given equation is linear equation into variable yes this equation is a linear equation into variable who will tell me the given another example root 7m plus root 3n plus 9 equal to 0 is that linear equation into variable observe the given equation carefully then you decide or you can say the given equation is to variable or not first we see or we observe the given equation containing two variables and the variables are m and n also identify here or look the degree or the power of each variable is one that's why we also say that this equation is a linear equation into variable then we see another example 3 x square plus 5y plus 13 equal to 0 is that linear equation into variable in this equation there are two variables which are the variables yes x and y these two are the variables but in this equation the degree of x is 2 here the degree of x is 2 that's why we can say this equation is not a linear equation in two variables yes you may understand better understand now we will see another example such thing 0.6 x plus 0.9 y is equal to 19 is the linear equation into variable in this equation there are two variables and the degree of each variable is one therefore we can say this is linear equation into variable in other way also we see some examples you may understand 0x plus 5y is equal to 12 is the linear equation into variable in this equation there are two variables x and y but the condition c a not equal to 0 in this equation the value of a is 0 when you multiply any term by 0 we get 0 that's why remaining part is y equal to 12 and e is linear equation in one variable therefore this equation is not linear equation into variable then we see another example 1 upon x plus 1 upon y equal to 7 in its standard all we see the rules of indices one rule of indices is that a raised to m equal to 1 upon a raised to minus m using this rule of indices we can define this equation when we take this x to the numerator we get x raised to minus 1 and when we take this y to the numerator we get x y raised to minus 1 that's why we can say there are two variables but the degree of variable is not 1 the degree of variable is negative 1 that's why we can say these equations are not linear equation into variable but these equations are reduced in the form of here we substitute 1 upon x equal to a and 1 upon y equal to b then we get equation a plus b equal to 7 this equation is a linear equation into variable but it is not that's why we can say that these kind of equations are reduced in the linear equation into variable they are not linear equations into variable but they are reduced in the linear equation into variable these are linear equation into variable from the definition and standard form or general form we 
define or we identify which of the given equations are linear equation into variable or not. In non-standard also we see simultaneous equation. What is mean by simultaneous equation? When we take two linear equations in linear equation of two variables, then they are called simultaneous equation. Here there are three methods of solving simultaneous equation. In time standard, we see the first method and name of the first method is elimination method. We see how to solve simultaneous equation by elimination method. Therefore, from one example, we better understand the elimination method. We take any one example and solve using elimination method. Elimination in Marathi, it is known as Nilsson elimination method. We will take one example or first example x plus 2y equal to 5 and 2x plus y equal to 7. In this equation or in this simultaneous equation, there are two linear equations in two variables. The first equation is x plus 2y equal to 5 and second equation is 2x plus y equal to 7. That's why they are called as simultaneous equation. To solve simultaneous equation by elimination method, first we give the names of equations. First we write and it is and name the given equation 1. Now we will write second equation and write equation number second. To solve the given equation by elimination method, we must have same pair. We must have same pair and opposite sign. In these two equations, we not have same pair. Therefore, we create a same pair. When we create a same pair, then we observe the signs of the pair are opposite. When the signs are not opposite, we also make sign opposite. In this equation, the coefficient of y is 2. We also make same pair. That's why we make the coefficient of y in equation second is 2. When we get equation second, coefficient of y is 2. If we multiply, it's by 2. Therefore, we multiply equation second by 2. Jaha pramani punktit lok javaila batle ta sarvana wala tasto tasas kahi saap lada ya chika ni karai chai. पंक्ति मध्ये फक्त पहिला एकाला दोघाला वाढून चालत नाही तर शेवटपर्यंत आपण वाढत जात असतो तसं या इक्वेशन ला मल्टीप्लाई करायचे म्हणजे फक्त y ला मल्टीप्लाई करायचे नाही तर त्या पूर्ण इक्वेशन ला मल्टीप्लाई करायचे इक्वेशन मध्ये जेवढे टर्म्स असतील त्या प्रत्येक ईच अँड एव्हरी टर्म ला आपल्याला मल्टीप्लाई करायचे देन वी मल्टीप्लाई इक्वेशन सेकंड बाय 2 फर्स्ट वी मल्टीप्लाई द फर्स्ट टर्म 2 टू द 4 देयरफॉर वी गेट 4x to 1 the 2 we get 2y and 7 to the 14 we get 14 name that equation third now observe equation first and equation third carefully here we get same pair but the signs are same we must have different sign same pair and opposite sign how to multiply up here the positive here also positive when we multiply any term by negative, then we get opposite sign. We must have opposite sign. That's why we subtract equation 1. We subtract equation 1 from equation 3rd. We will write equation 3rd first. The equation 3rd is that 4x plus 2y equal to 14. Now we we'll write equation first from 0 x plus 2 2y equal to 5 and when we subtract we multiply by negative and when we multiply by negative all signs are changes here the sign of x is positive here we subtract that the sign is changes and it get negative here also we get negative here also we get negative now subtract x from 4x we get 3x but here we must have same pair and opposite sign both are cancelled. Same pair, opposite side cancel. Now 14 minus 5 we get 9. Now take these 3 to the right side. 
multiplication and division are opposite of each other and addition and subtraction are opposite to each other when we take these three to the right side it goes to the denominator and we get x equal to 9 upon 3 and when we divide 9 by 3 we get therefore x equal to 3 this is the value of one variable in these two variables now to find out the value of y we substitute x equal to 3 in any one equation in these three we substitute x equal to or we put x equal to 3 in equation any one equation between these three we substitute which equation yes yes second in equation second we will write the second equation as it is x plus y equal to 7 this is the equation second here we substitute the value of x when we substitute the value of any variable it will be right in a bracket to write as it is the value of x we write in bracket and the value is 3 plus y equal to 7 and there is no sign between bracket and number there is a sign of multiplication that's why we multiply 3 by 2 we get 6 plus y equal to 7 and remember 6 is here addition we get y equal to 7 minus 1 and the value of y is sorry 6 we get y equal to 1 this is the value of variable y therefore the solution of equation we can write solution of equation x equal to what is the value of x yes 3 and what is the value of y 1 it will be also written in other way solution of equation solution of equation x comma y equal to 3 comma 1 in this way we can also write the solution of given equation you may understand this example better you may write by taking screenshot welcome we will stop here in tomorrow's video we see practice set 1.1 of a linear equation into variable now to learn more mathematics you may subscribe our youtube channel perfect classes and press the bell icon opposite it and you may get intimation of other videos goodbye students talk go home and study